Create a code page layout. No Larkin, AW Computing's VP of Services, is concerned that his consulting team uses accounts to record details of consulting partners, but some of the fields they see are not applicable to their partner accounts. He would like all sales related information removed. Alison Wheeler also contacted you with a request. She's concerned that the new account fields appear together in the top section of the account record detail pages. She would like them organized into different sections to make it easier for her team to find the right information. You can solve both of these issues using page accounts, uh, page layouts which control the fields, sections, related lists and buttons that appear when users view or edit a record. Create page layouts. Begin by modifying the default account page layout to display sales region and support plan information in separate sections. From setup, click object manager and select accounts. Let's do this. We are already there. In the page layout, the link click new. Select account layout from the existing page layout pick list. Enter customer account layout or the page layout name. Leave the feed based layout unchecked. I'm not really sure why it's not saving. There we go. <coughs> Section name, a sales region. On the palette at the top, drag the section element onto the page layout. Where do we have it? Not really sure where we can insert this. Drop it just above the additional information section and fill out details. Section name, search the region, layout to column, tap key order, left, right, click OK, click another section element on the page layout, drop it just above the additional information section and fill in the details. Port plan information to column left to right. Click OK. Now arrange the fields from the inf account information section. Drag the region field into the left column of the new sales region section. Oh, this is there, and we are supposed to drag this into the sales region section. 
And the zone field we're also supposed to drive there. Support. We yeah, are supposed to drag this to the right and now it looks like this. Next, make the rating field required. In the account information section, hover over the rating field and click the branch. Doesn't seem to be there, but I can drag it there. Let's just put it there. Let's make this required and click OK. Add do not call column to the contacts related list. See where this is. Yeah, it's kind of hard to see here in this layout. Make this a bit larger. There we go. Do not call. Let's add this. Okay. Now move the opportunities related list to the top. Scroll down to the opportunities related list, click the grey bar above the related list and drag it above the contacts related list. Yeah, I just did that. Preview the layout and save it as the customer layout, uh, account layout. At the top of the editor, click preview as and select sales user. Inspect your new page layout and click close. So let's have a look there. Opportunities here, it's at the top. Don't see, do not call stuff here, but it's probably if you create a new contact, which I can't really do here. In the preview, as support plan, here it's there. It says region and zone, it's also there. And now we close it and we save it. Send the customer account layout to the appropriate record type. Navigate the object manager and click account. We are still there. Page layout, page layout assign button. Click edit assignment and then complete the assignment screen. Click the top of the customer account column. This should highlight the entire column. Select customer account layout as page layout to use.
and click save. Create a new account layout called partner account layout by cloning the default account layout. Enter partner account layout as the new page layout. The feed based layout unchecked. Quite tedious stuff and now remove the rating region zone as support plan and support plan expiration date fields. Hold down control command and click each of the field in the account information section. So rating zone region. Rating wasn't there to begin with, I had to edit. I had to add that zone as support plan, support expiration date. Drag the selected fields onto the part at the top of the editor, click save. Now we don't really need to do that, I just like, manually removed all these and now we save it. Find the partner account layout to the appropriate record type. Click page layout assignment, edit assignment, partner account. Page layout to use, and there we select partner account layout. I'm not really sure why it's not showing there. Let's go back there. Okay, for some reason. The name is support plan information. I'm not really sure how that came to happen. Did I enter that? So now I kind of need to figure out how to rename this. Edit. Just 
check if this is the one here. It's really the one. Not really sure how this can happen. Did I enter this wrongly? Strange stuff. Here the name still is support plan information. Let's save it under a new name and let's hope this actually works. Okay, seems to work. And now... Yeah, and now we need to do the assignment again. Partner account. Edit assignment. And we use the partner con layout and save it. Now that Norse and others on the team can see what they need to see in their page layouts, move on to the next step where you enable field history tracking. So just to recap what we did there. We created new page layout for specific usage cases of our customers. We have different ones and for partner accounts we have different ones and that's what we did there. So let's verify the step. Let's move on to the next step. 